Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Golden. It's Pocket Oni. That's my name. That's been my name for a year. I need to stop saying that. What's up, guys? And today I'm making a video. I know it's crazy. I'm sure the the I don't I don't know where I was going with that. Today I'm making kind of a serious video. But before we go too far into that, if you're wondering what the hell that is, that's a great question. That's my cat palace thing to hold up my extremely huge cat. So, for the past year or so, I've had this cat that I've raised since she was a kitten. Uh, very beautiful cat. She's laying right beside me as we speak right now, actually. And um, I I've noticed something. When you have a larger cat, I believe she might be a ragdoll and Siberian mix, something like that. So, it's a she's a larger cat. Very big. You start to notice that the, that the things you buy on Amazon, the huge six-foot-tall cat trees that are supposed to be rated for huge cats they just don't hold up my cat has went through a couple of them and all the toys in the world and she breaks everything it's very very big cat almost the size of a small dog and you start to notice that there's really not much out there that you can buy for a cat a cat of this nature anyways that can hold up to withstand the force of it so i built my own cat tree thing. Um, it's got some astroturf on the top. I built this rope ladder that she cannot climb whatsoever. So basically I put her up there and she jumps down and I selectively engineered it to hold up the size of my cat. So I guess I'll show you and I'll show you the cat too. Update on Periwinkle. What a beautiful name for such a horrible cat. So let's, let's do that real quick. Cause this is important guys. This is very important. So this is the chonker. You can see it's pretty large cat. She's kind of mean. She doesn't really like being held. Let's put her up there. So yeah, that's that's what that is, if you're wondering. <laughs> I just built this yesterday. I had a really good time doing it. I engineered it, uh, maybe even over-engineered it for what for what she for what she is, but I made a fatal mistake. I guess I assumed that she could climb this little rope ladder here that I built, but she definitely cannot. For some reason, I just decided that she could climb that and that it wouldn't just go crazy like it currently is. That was definitely a design flaw, but <laughs> she can still jump from the bed and everything in her window perch, so it's okay. But yeah, it's it's a little bit interesting. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that. But anyways, today guys, I wanted to talk about some of the, um, the truth about society. There's a lot going on in the world right now, for sure. Um, especially when I'm making this video and, and my heart goes out to everybody who's affected. This should not have happened. I'm so sorry to all of Ukraine and everything like that. Everybody who's affected by this seriously, but a personal problem that I've been occurring and I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. This is probably a problem that only I have and, uh, probably, yeah, like I said, only me, but maybe, um, maybe there's some other people who are going through a similar issue like this and, um, maybe, maybe could benefit from this video. I don't know. Today, we're going to talk about the the problems and the, the stresses of an 18 year old. Now, I'm specifically a male, but there are different stresses, maybe some of the same ones for females. It's just going to be different for everybody. But I'm going to talk about some of the stresses that I have as an 18 year old, because I will say it's very different. Like this year, I've, I've only been 18 for literally a month as of today. And I can safely say this, this, this month has been the biggest change of my life. The first thing that you're expected to do at 18 or just after you graduate high school to begin with is get a job. Now me, I've had a job since I was in like ninth grade. So I've, I've had a job for a very long time. Tom, oh my God. Am I Southern? Like, did I, <laughs> this Missouri, Missouri speech is getting to me. Um, no, I've had a job for a very long time and, and I just, as of recently actually quit my job, which is something that's very frowned upon at this, at this age, but no, I just quit my job. I was working at a work from home call center job and, you know, I was just getting kind of mistreated. I felt like I was kind of like abused for the fact that I was kind of, I had energy and I was ready to come to work. It, it's a very long story. I might make a separate video on that. Um, the moral of the story is I quit, whatever. I've never quit a job before, at least on purpose. And I've worked at three or four different places now. And I could safely say I've enjoyed every single job besides the call center job. I worked there for about four to five months. I made good money. It was good money for what it is. And yeah, it's very frowned upon getting 
getting a job is like a staple of being 18, but quitting one at, at just after five or six months of working there, it's, you know, that that's something that's definitely looked down upon. And thankfully, I have very supportive family who are kind of with me and, you know, understand the struggles that I'm going through. Obviously, I've, I've talked about this as I went. So it's nothing, it's nothing that I just randomly randomly quit one day. Uh, it's it's not like that. I This was a long planned decision. And also, um, I put in my two weeks. I left on a good foot. That's something that is very important. Another big stress of being 18 is driving. That's a very big thing. I have had the worst track record with driving up until yesterday. I was never, I was really scared to drive. This is super uncommon here in the South. People love to drive. It's like the staple. You can't go anywhere in the south like you can't door dash maybe if you live in the city like uh maybe new york or or really any just major city you can probably get away with walking uh finding a job and walking distance but in the south you cannot i live about 25 miles from the nearest city it's about a 30 minute drive so i absolutely have to drive it's it's something that i just you just have to do you have to know everybody here does it's just how it works i had the biggest fear of driving. I was really scared. Although I've never failed, like uh, I've taken the driving test three times, maybe four times now. Um, and I passed every single one of them. I just had to do it every year because I just kept letting it expire. I never actually took the, the driving part of it. I just took the written part. And um, I, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's crazy to say, but I would just, I'm just terrified of driving. And I was up until about yesterday, I, I heard someone say the other day on, it may, it may have been a YouTube video or it may have been just somewhere online, but someone said something along the lines of, you got to decide you want it more than you're afraid of it. And I took that and then I, I thought of that and I realized I do want to drive more than I'm afraid of. I feel like driving is, is a part of my life that is just like, I, I'm almost to the point where I have to drive in order to go any farther in life. So in that case, I just decided I'm going to do it. I just went into the thick of it. I drove in the city. I was super, super amazed. I had no problems whatsoever. It was super easy and I actually had fun. So that that's definitely something that I was, I was a little bit worried about, but it really wasn't like kind of once you're forced to do it and once you really decide that you want it, it's not that crazy. Driving is one of those things that I was terrified of. It just went away. Like pretty much the whole fear went away. I was scared of it for years, like for over four years. So I'm very thankful that that went away. That was definitely one of my biggest roadblocks. Another thing that people genuinely are forced to do, or it's kind of like, I don't, I wouldn't even say a custom. It's just kind of something that's expected of a teenager, um, a late teenager into their 18s, 19s, sometimes even 20s is college. College is a very big thing. And you know, I have never wanted to go to college ever in my life. I have never planned to go to college. I never wanted to do anything that involves college. Don't get me wrong. The people who do go to college and the people that, uh, you know, have succeeded and, and, you know, they, they on average do better, but there's so many different pros and cons to consider, especially when it comes to college. And, and there's other different things. I mean, you don't have to spend your life savings and, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in some cases on tuition. You could just sometimes go to a trade school and save you some money. But, you know, school in general was never my thing. I've never been bad at it. There were a few classes I've been horrible at, but in general, I've had a pretty good GPA throughout my whole life. Um, yeah, like math and science, though, were never really my strong suits, but I, I did do good in pretty much everything else. And I can safely say I didn't really go to much school in high school. I was sick. Uh, and then eventually when COVID started, I just, I, I was basically homeschooled. So I really only went to ninth grade year in high school and I didn't have a good time. I'm going to be honest. I had like a few good teachers that were like really fun and, and, and I really enjoyed being in their class, but I, I just didn't have a good time in high school. And, and that's another thing that people are so heavily invested in. There, there, there were so many people in my life that just kept telling me, you don't want to be homeschooled. You don't want to do that. You, you, you want to experience high school. It's going to be the best time of your life. I can safely say in the years, the, the about a year and a half, maybe two years that I had in high school, I never 
I never enjoyed. It's really saddening to say, but I, I was never, never into the high school thing. It just seemed everything was so petty and formulated and nothing mattered. I took my classes. I still got my education. I just missed out on the socially constructed bullshit. That's all I missed out on. A lot of people, you know, think that it's good. Like, uh, and you know, I totally understand. High school's great. It's a good social experience. You meet sometimes lifelong friends. But in my case, I've already met those people. I still talk to those people I talked to in high school. I still have friends. I keep up socially. I'm not socially inept. Now, some people that do homeschool are. They just don't really understand, like, social cues. And that's definitely a real thing. That's definitely a real problem. But, you know, yeah, I'd go as far as to say in most cases, people who do homeschooling, especially during the, the midst of this, this COVID COVID uh, wave, it, it's most people are not like that. I've spoken to many people um, who are homeschooled. I spoke to many people as I was doing school who are who are homeschooled, and it was uh, it, it's definitely not like a thing anymore. Like that stereotype is strictly just a stereotype. It's not really so much of a, a real thing anymore. I feel like we're all kind of progressively moving into homeschooling, virtual learning, um, more like anyways, and it's just kind of kind of crazy. And there's people who live vicariously, if that's the best word to use in that situation, I'm not sure. But there's people who live like they're still in high school. And I've met people who are like that and I cannot stand them. There's people who still keep up the same socially constructed and fake, you know, like egos and, and everything. And you see that a lot in people who really haven't done much with their life, I've noticed. The people who generally are the cool ones in high school don't do much. Now, don't get me wrong. I graduated high school pretty much a year before everyone else did uh, in, in my in my class. So I haven't seen this yet. But I've seen people who are well above me in age that act this way. And it's something that you definitely see a lot of. And it's it's kind of unfortunate because I feel like that's that's their peak. That's that's a human's peak is high school. At least that's how some people act. You know, that that's just there's way more to life than high school. And there's not much more to say besides that. And back to my my original topic before I got lost in this whole high school and social stuff. College is not that important. <laughs> I, I, I just want to point that out. You can look up the statistics. It's crazy. There are way more companies, especially at this time where jobs are so important and we need jobs so desperately. There are plenty of places, good paying places, who do not require any sort of college degree. And that's very important, and I feel like some people really need to know that. If you want to be a doctor, you go through all that med school. You go through all that college classes that you need. And, and, and good for you. I, I wish you the best. But the people who don't aspire to be something that, like that. I do not aspire to be a doctor. I do not aspire to be any sort of medical professional. I do not, I do not really aspire to be any sort of professional. And to those people, I just want you to know, if you're really not considering college, that is okay. At least in my mind, it's okay. And you might be pressured. You might you might have parents that that really want you to go to college. You might have parents who really um, want something big out of you that you just don't want. You don't have to do what they want you to do. You know that that's something very important. I my whole life I have wanted to work in a factory. I know that's crazy, right? I do not have big dreams. I do not have unrealistically big dreams anyway. That's totally out of some people's expectations. Some people, they, they, they look at you and they'll say, I can't believe it. You're going to waste. You're so intelligent. As if factory workers aren't intelligent. And I might be a little biased here. I'm coming from a family of factory workers. My dad's been working in a factory since he was out of high school. And they work ridiculous hours. And he puts in a lot of hard work. But, you know, that that's if that's what you want to do, if you want to have a stable job like that, and it might not be a factory you might want to be you might want to do something that doesn't pay a lot outright and maybe something kind of risky maybe you want to be a chef or maybe you want to go into some kind of entertainment or something like that you know there's so many things out there that people can do to make money it's 
the perfect time to create something and get a job, especially right after high school, because most most of the time you're still living with your parents. You're still kind of being provided for. So so I'd recommend not to just do something you you hate and you're being pressured into. I'd say right after high school, uh, being 18 years old, maybe you're still in high school, is the perfect time to find who you really are. And that's important. A lot of times people do not know who they are. They don't. So it's definitely, it's definitely important to kind of figure that out about yourself. I know I'm probably all over the place and I'm so sorry. This is just kind of unscripted. I just wanted to sit down today and kind of talk about this. And, you know, I just wanted to share my experiences as well as what I've seen from others and the way that people kind of look down upon certain things. And the last topic I have for you guys today is that it's expected to cut out some of the childish things. Usually to people, it's kind of expected that you cut out some of the childish things, what they'd consider childish anyways, might be gaming, might be uh, entertainment, um, something along the lines of YouTube, Twitch, so many different things. It's expected that that's just kind of stopped and you put that behind you for whatever reason, and that's just not the case. Like, my dad is not one of these people, by the way, just to point this out. My dad is very supportive of everything I do, but maybe even more supportive than anybody else I've ever met. But, uh, you know, like, let's say, hey, stop playing games. You're you're old enough. Go get a job. Go, go do something else. You know, like, yeah. And at a certain point, they're probably right. If they keep telling you that, they're probably right. But, you know, if you're just, you're just fresh out of high school, you're trying to get your mind together, and you know you might t- you might play a game or two that's okay you can play games play all the games you want in fact as long as you have a plan and you're still going through with it you know it, it's 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 very it's very important it's very important and another thing i'd recommend and you guys probably won't be able to see it but this is a whiteboard wow you never seen one before a whiteboard is very important to me <laughs> i write down all of my rules all of my chores and all of my goals on that whiteboard so right now my goals are license car pay my own bills and keep up with my chores me personally i was never a very clean person growing up i never really had guidelines right um i never really got into the habit of keeping my room clean that was never me I never did that. I kept a messy room 24 seven and it, it just really wasn't a good thing. And I noticed when I moved here, I, I didn't realize the filth that I was living in. And a lot of people don't, a lot of teenagers do not realize how nasty they live. So I, I, I mean, I make my bed every day. I brush my teeth every day. You know, it's 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 certain things that you, you do, you're kind of just expected to do that you just don't. You just don't care for, for whatever reason, maybe because you didn't have good guidelines, maybe you just didn't have good influences for whatever reason there were certain things that you know really needed to be done that I just didn't like I I I used to not brush my teeth every day I just I was kind of nasty you know I was just nasty person so growing up you really kind of you know you start noticing at about 18 years old I feel like it's just when I really I, I just noticed that I was nasty and I and I keep up with my room every day you you have you have responsibilities That's something you need to get in the hang of. And I'd recommend it. I'd recommend just starting with something simple like your bed. You you hear it a lot and it's so cringy. But, uh, you know, you start out with these guidelines. You start out making your bed every day. If you don't brush your teeth every day, brush your teeth. Keep up with your hygiene. Do whatever you got to do. I have a whole list of things over there. And I have two animals to provide for. I have my my cat. I I have my snake ghost. There, there's, there's responsibilities that we have as 18 year olds and some more than others, some might not have any. Some might, you know, naturally be gifted with cleanliness and, and things that, you know, and maybe good parents and good people, good, good siblings that can help take care and kind of take off the workload, but not me. I never was like that. I never got that luxury, I guess it would be. But, you know, I just recommend starting off with something simple like make your bed every day, write your chores down, write, write what you want down. Like I have this bar here. It says move out status. And you can see it's about a fourth, maybe a fifth of the way done. It's it's important to me. That bar means the world to me. As someone who's lived in the South all their life, it's pretty crazy to think that they want to move out. They don't want to be in the South. They want to be, they want to move to the city. And the city that I want to live in is still in the South. But it's it's a lot more city than what I'm living now. I'm talking like, you know, like I said, 25 miles, 30 minutes away from the nearest city. I don't, I don't want that. I want to live right in the heart of the city. But I have realistic dreams. And I make sure all of my dreams are realistic because I'm uh, responsible with the things that I do. 
I try to save money as much as I can. And that's another thing. Saving money is hard. Saving money is really hard. Because you're 18, you're like, man, I'm making money. I'm living in my mom's house. You know, I'm, I'm doing the thing. But at the same time, if you want out, you want to you wanna actually make a difference. You want to start doing your own thing. You're going to have to start putting some of that behind you. I mean, I've wanted to build a new PC. I've saved up the money to build one. And then I'm just, I'm just not doing it. I can't do it. Like, it's crazy to think that a couple of years ago, I would have easily forked over a couple thousand dollars to build a PC. And now that I actually have that money and I'm sitting there like making a steady income or I, more like I was up until like a week ago, you know, you're making that steady income and it, and it hurts to even spend five dollars. That's crazy. That, that's just crazy to think that that's in, in one year's time. That's how much you change mentally. It's a big year, guys. If you're 18 years old um, and if you're they're just kind of you, you might not be 18, you might be 17, 19, uh, anywhere around that, honestly. It's just, these are big years. Graduating high school, you know, becoming 18, uh, keeping up with, with yourself and your responsibilities, it's hard. And it's something that everybody as a person really needs to learn. And I, myself, have so much more to learn. I am nowhere able to uh, speak for, you know, everybody or or even anybody. I speak for myself. These are my own experiences. This isn't what everybody's going to use. Let me know some of your fears in the comment section and also some of your goals for the upcoming year. Uh, it's the beginning of 2022. There's so much to change. Write down some goals. I'm going to write down some more goals for myself. <laughs> I, I got a lot going on and there's a lot of stresses. There's a lot of stresses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of my content. Um, this is just kind of a random video. I've never made a video like this. I just decided I needed to sit down and talk about it. It is important to me. So um, I hope someone, whether it be five people, watch this video. And probably not going to be a lot of people who watch this. But all right, guys. I'll see you later. See you next video. Uh, peace. And you guys have a wonderful day.